What's going on people? O'Gano here. And this is part two of the previous tutorial. I recommend you check out the uh, two point thing first because that's when I introduced the static line. I'm going to introduce something new here, which is doing one point perspective and something new that's hiding behind this 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 paper here. So this is for a refresher from the uh, last tutorial. Static lines they don't change. They they are always static, and they're o and they only like change in height. That's about it. And, you know, the only thing that you want to use, you know, height for is you want if you want to like to do the illusion of distance. You know, so that's a static line. That's a static line. Yeah, an illusion of distance. And if you want to have something that's like you know bigger than this. Like this is the smallest one, this is semi small, and this is like the biggest one, you know. And if you want to have something that's like bigger than this, then you know, this would be the, uh, this would be the, uh, yeah, this would be the biggest, you know. So, and as for, uh, as for this, this frame right here, this is just, whoopsie, this is just, this. It's just you know the child drawing that you probably seen before. This is the horizon line where the ground meets the sky. Note that the horizon line can either be up here or it can like be down here, and it's going it's going into like more detail later on. Uh, and for this time, we're going to put our horizon line like at the ground on the frame instead of out of the frame. Okay, it's just like this is inside the frame. Okay, so. I'm going to reveal to you the new one, which is you know plane lines, and plane lines are only lo are only there when the, uh, the the vanishing point is at the center of the uh, the vanishing point is at the center of the uh, horizon line. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you plane lines very very soon, but if you've seen the first one. I'll just do this just to make sure I'll, I'll I'll put my point right here just to show you guys that nothing really changed you know we're just working with one point instead of two like before so we're gonna make our horizon line you want to make it straight so that it can have accurate calculation I'm at an uncomfortable position at the moment, so yeah, this is not straight. Hold up. Whoopsie. Okay. Okay, it's somewhat it's good. It's it's somewhat straight. It's good enough. So we're gonna have our vanishing point. So this is the horizon line, just like that that sun drawing. We're gonna have our vanishing point somewhere over here. Okay. And again, this is just one point perspective. And you and you want your ruler to be on that point. You don't want it moving here. You don't want it moving here because the calculation is going to be wrong, you know. So I'm going to draw it, and this is when our static. This is where our static lines come in. And I'm. You can also rotate it as well, you know. So let's say I like uh, did this to make a lower building. I would rotate my ruler down, and then you know, draw something that's like a smaller building or so. And then that's when I draw my static line, because you know it's at a distance, so it's far away. Let's let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. So yeah, this, these are my static lines right here. 
these homeostatic lines and these are the lines that are being controlled by by this vanishing point over here and I'm just rotating my ruler and then I'm tracing it okay rotating the ruler and then tracing okay so now we're just gonna end it off with with this okay and I guess we can make a uh, a uh, bridge uh, not a bridge a, uh, a fence here and then close that off this is the same type of mechanic te technique that you're going to be using if you're drawing your windows you know you, sh you want the uh, there's going to be static static here static lines here and then your windows are gonna match where these are you know where your point is and you're gonna rotate it if you want and then hold up rotate it and then do that and then you close that off with a static line okay so and you could like draw your trees or so you know and like if you want to like some for a dramatic scene somebody like stepping on the ground you can do that you can draw that as well uh, the ground you could you could either put water or grass or you know cement it doesn't matter you know so yeah so that's like that's the same thing as a two-point perspective but put simpler so now when we get to plane lines you know we're gonna get to plane lines and all Okay. All right. So our vanishing point is going to be here. Our vanishing line. I mean, may not be too straight, but uh, we're going to have our point here. And then we're going to, you know, do this, the same exact thing I did previously. perhaps you know have a bridge here and this is when we're going to uh, do the uh, this is when we're gonna like introduce this plane line right here so this plane line is mostly this plane line is mostly shown when you're like above the uh, the uh, the center of that vanishing point you know and they're they just they're just like your static lines which is like this they're just like your static lines but they're just going from right to left that, that's that's all it is you know so then I'm gonna like you know complete it probably like draw another building here static line and again you know rotate your ruler oh yeah rotate your ruler for that and rotate your ruler drawing that and then do the same thing for these buildings here okay come here do that and then you know finish it off like that and then after that use your static lines come down and come down and at the side of the building there's just going to be a plane line because it's just a straight line okay And I, I, I want to show you some some examples since we do have some time here. What I did. So, my my van. If, if you look, if you're looking at this here, 
uh, my vanishing point would be like somewhere like really really far away in the drawing like this right here this would be really really far away in the drawing but at the time when I was doing this part portion I wasn't using any vanishing points it would have been more more helpful and ac accurate as well uh, as for this there are this is again this is like this right here you see the horizontal line here where's my horizontal line it's like right here you know you can move your horizontal line wherever in this thing depending on what you want to do you know so my horizontal line is right here right and uh, my point is right here so all, all of these the point the point controls uh, the stuff the lines coming from this direction okay as you you know rotate your rule as I said before yeah the, the that's where the point the, yeah that's where the lines are coming from they're controlling that and then there are my static lines they're just you know they just go up and down you know that's it and this is my uh my plane line they're just going sideways so th that's one uh same same for this etc and like my hor horizon line was right here right so where's my horizon line here it will it changed all the way up to here at, at yeah it changed all the way up to here and my horizon line for this was like near near the bottom so another example that I want to show is um uh this is like two point perspective which is on the first video the uh the top ones wait is this the one no well, I can I can I can show this this too as well. Yeah, yeah, I can show this too as well. Um, this is like again lines are going this way. It's just a straight line. This is one point perspective, by the way, because we're just using one point. Okay, and uh, let me let me see if I can adjust this a little bit clearer. Okay, cool. Okay, this is a straight line, and this is where my lines are coming from. You don't see it because my point is right here okay my point is right here this is where my horizon line is for this you know technically the horizon line would be up here but this is doing something different I'll I'm just breaking the rules a little bit but now for this so okay my horizon line here so okay, this is the one I was saying. This is my my point would be somewhere right here, okay? That's where my horizon point would be, you know. And I'm just you know tracing and then rotating the ruler to get this top portion here, and then my then the like the center one would just be right here, okay? Oh yeah, say if the point was right here in the center, then these would you know align. You know, and uh, then there's this. The yeah, then there's this. This is the ex ex exact same thing. You know, horizon line somewhere down there, and yeah, yeah, pretty much. So since I, I don't want to like go past anything any time longer, so I want to make this video a little short. But it's not going to be short. It's going to it's 13 minutes or so. But yeah, yeah. I hope this this video uh, I hope this video helped you understand uh, w one point perspective and two point perspective. I'll have other tutorials like uh, three point perspective and three point perspective. You know, static line static lines don't apply in three point perspective. They only apply in two point and one point. And in four point perspective, that's like a that's like a really trippy perspective that I might do. I still need some practice on that. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, I, I could I could do four point perspective as well. So yeah, um, leave a leave a like, subscribe if you like the content. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and yeah, peace out, guys. Later.